Family Matters, a classic 1989 TV series, has etched its mark in the annals of television history. A sitcom that seamlessly blends humor, shock, and poignant moments, it stands as a symbol of the industry's enduring charm. What makes this series timeless? Tune in to discover funny, shocking, and even somber facts that keep viewers hooked. Ever wondered what enduring qualities make this sitcom a lasting icon? Or perhaps, have you personally felt the impact of family matters on your life? Share your stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear your experiences and cherished memories related to this beloved show. So, are you ready for a journey filled with laughter, surprises, and heartfelt moments? Keep watching and let us know your thoughts and memories in the comments below. Your stories matter. In the late 1980s, a television landscape dominated by family-centric sitcoms found itself graced by the arrival of a show that would become an integral part of the era's cultural fabric. Picture this, it's 1989 and families across America gather around their television sets, eagerly awaiting the start of a series that would soon capture their hearts. As the familiar jingle of the opening credits resonates through the living rooms, viewers are introduced to the Winslow family, headed by Carl Winslow, a lovable police officer played by Reginald Veljohnson. At the heart of this sitcom is the everyday life of the Winslow family, but what sets it apart is the unexpected arrival of Steve Urkel, portrayed by Jaleel White. Steve, a nerdy and socially awkward neighbor, quickly becomes an iconic character, leaving an indelible mark on the show's trajectory and popular culture. What begins as a supporting role soon transforms into a central figure, and Steve's catchphrase, did I do that, becomes a household expression. Family Matters not only entertained audiences with its humor, but also tackled social issues of the time, including racial dynamics and family values. The show provided a reflection of the era's societal changes and challenges, making it more than just a sitcom. It became a testament to the evolving cultural landscape of the late 80s and 90s. The significance of Family Matters lies not only in its entertainment value, but also in its portrayal of a diverse and relatable American family. The Winslow's experiences resonate with audiences, and the show's ability to blend humor with meaningful narratives contributed to its enduring popularity. As the characters navigated the trials and tribulations of daily life, viewers found a connection that transcended the confines of the television screen. In retrospect, Family Matters stands as a captivating snapshot of a specific era, a time capsule that encapsulates the essence of family, friendship, and societal changes in the late 20th century. Its impact extends beyond its initial run, as subsequent generations continue to discover and appreciate the charm and wit of this classic sitcom. Family Matters, the iconic 1989 TV series, played a pivotal role in shaping the landscape of family sitcoms during its run. Premiering as a spin-off from Perfect Strangers, it quickly became a cultural phenomenon. What sets it apart is the unique blend of humor, heartwarming family moments, and the exploration of social issues. The series had a profound influence on subsequent TV shows, movies, and media that followed. One notable aspect is the introduction of a lovable and quirky character, Steve Urkel, portrayed by Jaleel White. His nerdy charm and catchphrase, Did I Do That?, became synonymous with the show and left an indelible mark on pop culture. The character's popularity transcended the boundaries of the show, inspiring other creators to incorporate similar quirky characters in their narratives. Family Matters paved the way for the inclusion of diverse and relatable family dynamics on television. The Winslow family, led by the affable Carl Winslow, presented an African-American family in a positive light, breaking away from stereotypes. This portrayal had a lasting impact on the industry, encouraging the development of more inclusive narratives. During its era, the show faced comparisons to other family sitcoms like The Cosby Show and Full House. While each had its unique charm, Family Matters stood out for its emphasis on tackling social issues with a light-hearted touch. The incorporation of Urkel's character brought an element of slapstick humor, distinguishing it from its counterparts. The success of the show also influenced the portrayal of nerdy characters in subsequent media. The Urkel archetype became a template for depicting socially awkward yet endearing characters seen in various TV shows and movies over the years. The influence extended beyond the 90s, making it a timeless reference in the evolution of character tropes. In conclusion, Family Matters remains a groundbreaking series that not only entertained audiences, but also left an enduring impact on the world of television. 
Its influence on character archetypes and the portrayal of diverse family dynamics is evident in the media landscape that followed. Its ability to blend humor, heart, and social commentary solidifies its place in the annals of TV history. In various scenes inside the house, Family Matters utilized sets also featured in Valerie and Step by Step. Judy, the youngest Winslow child portrayed by Valerie Jones in the pilot, was later replaced by Jamie Foxworth. Despite Judy's limited screen time, Foxworth's salary demands led to her removal from the series. Subsequent episodes altered the show's history, erasing Judy's existence altogether. Family Matters holds the distinction of being the final American live-action sitcom from the 1980s to conclude its run. In the course of its run, Harriet Winslow was portrayed by two actresses, while three actors took on the role of Richie Crawford and Brighton James also assumed the character. The character Fletcher Thomas, Mother Winslow's husband, was portrayed by three actors and Judy Winslow had two actresses playing the role. Throughout the series, Carl had four brothers, Frank, Darrell, Calvin, and Walter. Of these, only Frank, his brother, made an appearance in the show. John Marie Payton mentioned in a 2010 interview that her departure from the show would have occurred earlier if not for her contractual obligations. This information is sourced from a reputable website providing reliable details about the series. Reginald Bell Johnson stands as the sole cast member to grace every episode of the series, a consistent presence throughout its run. Kelly Shanigny Williams takes a hiatus only in a camping we will go, while Jaleel White enters the scene in Season 1, Episode 12, Laura's First Date, becoming a constant figure thereafter. And John Marie Payton sheds light on the show's origins, revealing that her involvement in higher-rated episodes of Perfect Strangers paved the way for family matters. The producers aimed for a Cosby show-like concept, but with a twist, a focus on a flaw with middle-class family, distinct from the picture-perfect portrayals. Peyton saw value in portraying a more realistic African-American family, imperfect yet bound by love. Cherie Johnson, despite recurring since season two, never clinched an official cast member status. Her role remained significant, yet she never attained full cast recognition. These insights, drawn from a reliable source, paint a concise picture of the series' cast dynamics, origins, and notable nuances, showcasing its unique approach to family representation in television. Michelle Thomas, taking on the role of high school student Myra Monkhouse, joined the cast of the series in her mid-twenties, adding a unique dynamic to the ensemble. Meanwhile, Darius McCrary, portraying older brother Eddie, shares an interesting connection with Kelly Shanigny Williams, being only a month younger than her. In a memorable scene, Eddie queries Harriet about her past television roles, referencing the sitcom 227. Harriet corrects him with a nod to give me a break, showcasing a subtle connection to Thelma Hopkins and Rosetta Lenoir, who played significant roles in the mentioned shows. Interestingly, John Marie Payton, a key figure in Family Matters, had a cameo appearance in an episode of 227. These intriguing insights, sourced from a reliable website, offer a glimpse into the cast dynamics and connections within the series, providing a deeper understanding of the actors' backgrounds and interwoven television history. Family Matters, part of AB's TGIF lineup, stands as the first of two all-black cast shows on the network, the other being Hang In with Mr. Cooper. Notably, Darius McCrary, Joe Marie Payton, Jamie Foxworth, Telma Hopkins, and Brighton James, cast members of the series, ventured into professional music, showcasing their talents both on and off the screen. In a unique crossover, Steve Urkel, a central character in the series, made appearances in three other shows. Full House, Step by Step, and Mego. Additionally, Urkel had a minor cameo in Boy Meets World during Season 8, Episode 17, sending Corey Matthews a chain letter. These insights into the cast's musical endeavors and character crossovers provide a deeper understanding of the multifaceted talents within the Family Matters ensemble. All information is meticulously sourced from a reputable website, offering a reliable glimpse into the series' cultural impact and interwoven television history. Reginald Vell Johnson and Jaleel White both contributed as writers to the show. The casting process for Family Matters was rigorous, as Jamie Foxworth revealed in an interview with Tyra Banks that she auditioned seven times before landing her role. This might explain the different actress, Valerie Jones, portraying Judy Winslow in the pilot episode. 
Family Matters achieved a significant milestone by becoming the longest-running American primetime scripted series on the air after Murphy Brown ended in 1998. This status remained until its final episode on July 17, 1998, when it was succeeded by The Simpsons, which holds the distinction to this day. Notably, Family Matters was the last live-action series to premiere in the 1980s and the final one overall, excluding The Simpsons. All these details are sourced from a reputable website, providing reliable insights into the show's behind-the-scenes contributions, casting intricacies, and its enduring status in American television. The opening theme of the series initially featured Louis Armstrong's What a Wonderful World for the first five episodes. Episode 6 marked the shift to the more recognizable as days go by. ABC Family airings included an extended opening, while syndication opted for a shorter version from seasons 4 through 6. The original ABC broadcast and later airings on ABC Family utilized an extended version of the As Days Go By theme, accompanied by clips from selected episodes. Garcelle Bovis portrayed four distinct characters in various episodes, showcasing her versatility. From playing Steve's wife in a dream to an alternate version of Mother Winslow in another dream, Bovis displayed her acting range. The house in the opening credits, located at 15516 W. Wrightwood Avenue in Chicago's Lincoln Park, sold for $798,000 in December 2016. It was replaced by a three-story condo building with units selling for over a million dollars each. These details provide a glimpse into the show's theme song evolution and the multiple roles played by Garcelle Bovis, all sourced from a reputable website. The house's transformation in the opening credits adds an interesting layer to the series' history, underscoring its real-world impact. 